Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to download and install the Octane demo for Cinema 4D. Now this is something that I already made a tutorial for before, but since then Octane has updated and improved the download process. So this tutorial is going to reflect that. So that means I'm going to be showing you how to download Octane, the most up-to-date, current um, way of doing that. So to begin you're going to download it first and to do that you're going to go to octane.com which is this website right here and it'll look like this right off the bat and you're just going to click on render and then click octane render and then you're going to navigate down to demo right here and you're going to click on that and you can skip select version because we're going to choose one of the fully integrated plugins. I'm going to view the list of plugins by clicking on that. We're going to navigate down until we find Cinema 4D, and then we're going to download Windows R13 or above, or Mac OS X R13 or above. Since I have Windows, that's the one I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on this and let that download begin. And I'm going to pull this to the side and open my file explorer right here and go to my downloads folder right there by clicking on that and here we go here's the octane demo for cinema 4d on windows and what we're going to do is just going to leave it right here in the downloads folder we're just going to right click to extract all click extract right here that's fine it's going to pull all those files out and we can close this because this is showing us inside that folder so we can just close that make this easier and here we go here's our folder extracted now here's the process that we're going to do step by step we're going to double click this folder to go into it one level and then we're going to click on octane right here c4d octane and we're going to right click and we're going to do copy now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this pc and we're going to navigate to the drive that has cinema 4d installed on it so the way you can figure this out is basically just try and figure out which drive or take a wild guess which one you think it might be on if it's not on there we can just go to a different one but for me I know mine is on my local C drive so I'm going to double click that to open it and I'm going to go to program files and then I'm going to go down until I find Maxon if you can't find Maxon under your program files on your C drive then it may be on a different drive so navigate through each drive until you can find the Maxon folder here under program files so we're going to double click that and then we're going to see Cinema 4D R16. Now this will differ depending on which version you have. If you have R13 or above, they're going to be seeing those numbers here. So it'll be Cinema 4D R, whichever version you have. For me, that's going to be R16. So I'm going to double click this and open that up. And then I'm going to go to Plugins, double click that there. And then I'm going to go into this file here, which you can see. And this is where we're going to copy and paste that file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click and click paste because we already did copy that. And it's going to ask us if we need to give per administrative permissions because this is a um, kind of um, administrator folder. So we do have to give permission to put that in there. Don't worry, it's completely safe. We're going to click continue. It's going to put that in there. And here we go, C4D Octane. Now this is a little bit of a complicated process here, but don't worry, we'll guide you through that really easy and make that simple. What you're going to do is you're just going to open this folder, and you're going to see a bunch of stuff here, and you don't have to worry, this is, you don't have to pay attention to any of this stuff. You can just forget it's there. The only stuff you have to worry about is these five folders here. These are the ones that are all the different versions of Octane for different versions of Cinema 4D. So what you're going to do is delete all the versions except for the one you're using. Since I have R16, I'm going to delete R17, 15, 14, and 13. On the reverse, if you have R13, you could delete 14, 15, 16, and 17. And you don't have to do this technically. Cinema 4D will still run, but it'll give you errors for each version that it tries to load up until the fifth one where it'll actually work. So it'll pop up four errors that you have to click OK on until it actually finds the right one, which is just very, uh, it's annoying to have to do that. So I highly recommend deleting these. So what you're going to do is just going to click on, at least for me, I'm going to click on R17, press delete. Oops, I renamed the file. That's OK because I double clicked. I'm going to click that again, press delete. Press continue, it's going to delete that. R15, I'm going to press delete, continue. R14, delete, press continue. R13, delete, press continue. Now all we have left is R16, which is the version I have. That's perfect. And I can just close this because I don't need to do anything in there anymore. And I'm going to click on Cinema 4D. And I'm going to launch it. And we'll let it load in here. And then it's going to open up and here we go so and you can see here is the octane docked right up here I can click on that 
click um, live view window and here we go it's the octane window located right there I can pop in a square and press this and there you go it's rendering everything is working fine and as it should be so there we go thank you everybody for watching my tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you like this tutorial please leave a thumbs up if you didn't like this tutorial leave a thumbs down or leave a um, comment in the descriptions if you have any issues or any other more questions and um, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this or would like to view some of my work, please head over to my website at epicjcreations.businesscatalyst.com where you can see more tutorials like this as well as my reel and um, some of my information of my skills and some of the work that I put out. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and see you guys.